Hi, I have a surprise for you. More of a collective of surprises from your friends and family that I've collected over the past six weeks or so. I know it's really difficult right now being so far away from home and the comfort of your friends and your family. So I wanted to bring a little bit of that love to you. I know I miss you incredibly much and I can't wait until you're home. So until then, just sit back, hang tight, and I hope you enjoy your video. I love you. What's up, muchacho? Heard you're stuck on a boat. Thank you for defending our freedom. When you get back, let's go see some lucha. Hey, Joel. Joel. All right, cuz. Hope you're keeping your chin up, mate. We're all thinking of you, sending you love from Wales. Cheers. Yaki da. What's up, dude? Getting this uh, martini perfected for when you get home. And I'll have the stash all grown out really nice and manicured. But uh, hope you're doing well and uh, you're not missing out at anything at home. We all have to fucking hunker down and, you know, it's no fun either. So be well and we'll see you soon. Joel fucking Mason. Cheers. Seal Beach misses you. I miss you. You need to come home so you can murk me. That's a bull. Have a drink and just be full retards. Miss your brother. <laughs> Jolly, jolly, oli, oli, oxen free. Hey man, love you very much. Um, someday we will be cheersing each other when you get off this freaking boat. I'm starting to get a little hairy myself. There's Jackson right there. Jackson, come say hi to Joel. 
Here it is. Hey, man, we love you. Um, I hope June gets this all to you guys. And you guys let us know how we can help you. And uh, keep your stoke on high. Love you. thought this would be nicer for Joel. Yeah. Because it's outside and in the garden and not us all crammed in the kitchen. And this is us having our lunch. We're finishing. Little sticky buns what? Luby made. Mama. Oh, and mum. And here's our garden. Uh, there's the pear tree which is the blossom. And the blossom is fab. Let's find out where he is. See ya! Hey my dog. Hey my doge. What up? Um, we want to, we miss you. And we want to send you this tune. Um, in all my travels, as a traveling man, uh, this was a song and one of my favorite memories of all the uh, travels. I keep saying travels. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, you know, you, you probably remember when there were some epic moments with some random strangers. I hope this makes your heart smile. Joel, we love you. We miss you. Can't wait to go back to Mex and have some whole fried snapper with you again. Mmm. Hey. Right?
What's up, Big Mace? It's Casey reporting live from Solana Beach, California. Today's currently April 13th, 2020, the day after Easter. We're in quarantine here in San Diego as as much as the nation. Uh, times are crazy, man. Times are crazy. I know you're stuck out at sea right now. You're supposed to come home at the end of March. Um, bummed that we don't get to see you, but even if you were here, you know, um, things are locked down. We wouldn't be able to, you know, go shoot bucks and have some fun like we normally do. Um, my thoughts and prayers are with you, buddy. Uh, miss you. Um, also thinking about June. Hope she's doing all right. Uh, help, I hope Monkey and Annie are doing great. Hopefully when you get back in the summer, you know, you guys can celebrate and go on a little road trip. I hope your health is great. I hope your family's good. Uh, I know it's tough being stuck out at sea. I got Evan and DC both at sea right now. Um, but just know we're doing everything we can over here. Um, you know, to stay locked down, not spread the virus, uh, flatten the curve, as they're saying. Uh, we fully understand that, you know, the sooner things get done over here, we get taken care of, then you can come home. Um, so we're. We're taking precautions. I'm out on my balcony right now, celebrating, uh, talking to you right now. I wish I could see your reaction uh, when June sends you these videos. Uh, you know, I had to get dressed up. We got the libations going. We got the stick going. We got the Goran hat and the fresh ass jacket going. Uh, that's all for you, my buddy. Um, hopefully, this brings a smile to your face, man. I miss you. I can't wait to see you guys again. Uh, and in the meantime, cheers, buddy. We'll see you soon. Stay safe. Hey, buddy. So this is crazy, huh? The whole world just being upended like this. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. I hope you're fine. Um, mm -hmm. Hope you're staying healthy and safe and, and that you have people to talk to. Um I, I hope you're not going crazy like the rest of us. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, I just figured I'd like to sing a song for you in June because I know it's really, really difficult. More than any of this is to be away from somebody you love. So, yeah, I just want to do this song for you guys. Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile. Even though it's breaking wind There are clouds in the sky You'll get by If you smile Through your fear and sorrow Smile And maybe tomorrow You'll see that life is still worthwhile If you Light up your face with gladness Hide any trace of sadness Although a tear may be ever so near That's a time you must keep on trying Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile If you smile Smile though your heart is aching Smile even though it's breaking When there are clouds in the sky You'll get by if you smile Through your fear and sorrow Smile and maybe tomorrow You'll see that life is still worthwhile If you smile Stay safe, bud. Hey, Joel. Um, I'm going to have you join us for breakfast. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you my new teapot. This is Brown Betty. 
She makes a beautiful cup of tea. Her shape allows you to swirl the loose tea. And um, anyway, I uh, wanted you to meet her. Um, I took an earlier video, but it's just kind of very disjointed. So I thought, oh, we're making breakfast here. Um, I thought that this it might be better, us in the kitchen. Um, anyway, uh, my usual is oatmeal in the morning these days with um, dates for sweetener. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Um, and then I sprinkle chia and uh, black seeds and macadamia nut milk in it. Um, this is my little pots over here. All the stuff. So, all kinds of good stuff. I sprinkle that on and um, that's our breakfast. Well, no, Pete has something way more elaborate than that. Um, Man's anyway. got to have some real food. Anyway, you want to say hi to Pete, Joe? None of that oatmeal stuff yeah so okay well um i'm working on your soapbox today and i my goal is to have it out by monday so i need it to get to you before you get off the ship i don't want you to think i forgetting about you oh got a text message for nora bless so um anyway just wanted you to know that uh, I think of you a lot and uh, can't wait to see you again in California, I guess. Of course, if you could fly by here, that would be great. Oh, Pete's making the coffee over there. That didn't sound good, did it? Mm. Mm. It's curry these days. So, anyway, love you, Joel. Want to come and see the horror? Come on, I'll show you the horror. Uh-oh. The horror, the horror. This is the horror. This is the little powder room. And this is the horror. That's the bathtub. There's the bathtub drain that took three days to install. Pretty, uh, Pretty nasty. I think I showed you this recently, but anyway, there you go. You see the bathtub now. Exciting times. Okay. Bye. See you. Love you.
Hi, Jojo. I have tried to do this multiple times and I just start crying. So I just said, you know, screw it. There might be tears, but like you have three sisters. Hello. It's nothing that you're not used to. Um, first of all, I love you and I miss you. Second of all, I just think this is so incredibly special and sweet of June to have put this together for you because I can just imagine your precious, cute little face and kind of getting teary eyed and smiling at all these um, familiar faces telling you hello and how much they love you. Um, I was trying to think of what I could say and I decided to, what I could say is what I haven't said. Um, I know you know I love you, um, but I just want you to know how special you are and how important you are to me. Um, I've always told you you're my soulmate and I honestly don't know, I have no idea what would have happened to me if I didn't have you in my life as my brother. Um, I can think of, tears, I can think of so many um, examples, but the, f the few that um, really st have stood out is, I remember after graduating high school, just being, um, I don't even know when this was, to be honest, but I was in a really bad way. And this is the time, oh, I must have been in high school. This is the time when I was only eating carrots and I turned orange. And you just put me in your VW bus and we drove down to Sano and I cried the whole time eating my carrots. But just, you were there for me without, we, you didn't even need to say anything. You just, you were there to scoop me up. Um, moving to Santa Barbara was like such a pivotal point in my life and it was a really special time. You were pretty much my only friend. I wouldn't let anybody in my life. And that time was, I mean, it was sacred. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have you as my person during that really messed up time in my life. Um, you were there for me and pina coladas and God, we had an amazing time. I'm so grateful for that time together. Um, and then the time when you came back from Thailand and lived with me and so graciously gifted me the flight to Kauai that I don't even know what I would have done if I didn't come here. Like, I just want you to know that you are very much um, in my thoughts and always in my heart. I love you so much. I'm so grateful for you. Um, you are my Jojo and there's no one else I'd rather be laughing the kind of laughter that you can only laugh with laughters, laughers who have laughed together many times before um, than with you. So I love you. Um, these are happy tears and I hope you feel so loved and I cannot wait for our entire family to be together again because um, it is going to mean more than it is probably ever meant to all of us. So take care, know that um, even though you're on a ship in the middle of the ocean, you're very much in a lot of people's um, thoughts and always in a lot of people's hearts. Love you. Hi brother. I hope that you have had some good chuckles and laughs from the videos that people have been sending you that June has put together. It's really hard to take a video of yourself sending a message to someone and um, I'm just not going to watch this one. I'm just going to send it to June. It's just I'm just going to send it. I'm not going to look at what I said. Um, but what I want to say is obviously I love you very much. Obviously, I really appreciate you, but really, you have taught me so much throughout my whole life. I There are about a million things that I don't even know were taught to me by you, I'm sure. You're just built into my every essence. I mean, you might have taught me how to wipe my butt. I don't know. Someone had to teach me how to do that. Maybe you taught me how to tie my shoes. You definitely taught me how to drive stick. Um, that's something that I use every day. Uh, what else have you taught me how to do? You know, you taught me um, how to rock climb. You taught me how to skateboard. I am Goofy Mongo. Did you know that's a thing? Where you're goofy, so I face left, but then I push with my right foot. Um, didn't know that that was a thing until recently. So if you taught me how to skateboard, you kind of fucked up. But I think you did teach me how to skateboard. Um... Yeah, dude.
all my memories from when I was little hanging out with you are so freaking precious. I got to spend so much time with you and all of your friends. And now that I'm this age and older, I know that it's not always easy to have little kids around. Um, but you always made it feel like I was really welcomed. You always made it feel like I was loved and you always made me feel like I was part of whatever it was that you were doing and that I wasn't a nuisance. And I think that that's huge. I, I never thought that you were anything but awesome my entire life. And I know that as we get older, we start to realize that the people that we've put on pedestals aren't completely perfect, but you're pretty damn close. And you are by far the most perfect brother, my favorite brother. And I love you so much. I can't wait till you're back. And I can't wait till um, both of our forced, in your case, not so forced, but still not so fun sobriety sessions are over. So big cheers to us when we get to see each other again. Love you so much. What's up, homie Joel? Ah, we're getting ready for Lucia, brother, right? Yep. Once you up? come back, we're gonna go to Lucia, Sese. <laughs> we miss you, bro. Oh, shit, it's getting heavy. We miss you. Take it easy, brother. I know you're far away. We miss you out here in San Diego. All right? <laughs> we're gonna take your glasses off now. Okay, Joel, we hope you enjoyed our video. We're wishing you the best. Take care of our... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can do another one right now. It's like bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Give um, it a pause. Though. Okay. Okay, Joel, well, we hope you loved our... Can I our... say give it a pause? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what let's do that again. What are you doing? Okay, tell me, when I... no, tell me when to do it. Just go like that or something. <laughs> Okay, Joel, we hope you loved our video. We're wishing you the best. <laughs> All right. Take care of yourself out there. In the deep blue. In the deep blue. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are thinking of you, and we look forward to a grand, awesome reunion. All right. Take care of yourself. See you soon. Love you. And I wanted to remind you that you made these beautiful surf racks, and obviously Matt's surfboards are still here and there's Hudson and now we also have a pod for the top of my um, my car so that's cool so now we're just gonna walk you through the backyard so you can see how beautiful California is come on that kid you remember my backyard we had rain yesterday so it's a gorgeous day right now right Hudson Now we're going into the kitchen. Okay, Joel, well, a video to you would not be complete without you seeing where I keep falling in the kitchen. Here's the picture from her memorial. It says, in our hearts always. And I keep the fairy and the card that you gave me also, just to remind me that she's my guardian angel. Oh. 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 oh, I turn the thing around so it brings the other things the other way. I think we should hold out and make something super awesome and creative and cool. Why isn't this super awesome? Look, we got toast. No, it's just the slabs of butter. Oh, we got I mean... Lou looking looking absolutely luscious and lovely, and we've got like like like. Oh, <laughs> dude, I better do that again. I missed that. Oh my that. god. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then we got yeah yeah <laughs> Kath. Just giving, flipping you the bird. No, but, but Joel, <laughs> so, we've got your lovely, well, it's not quite Dave and 
David Shaw cheese. David Stowe. David Stowe that you like, but I always think of you check, cheese. Check cheese toast. Yummy See. cheese. And we got soup with with. There we go. And then Ron's just like going for it, but he thinks we shouldn't do this now because he thinks it should be perfect. But what could be more perfect than this? And just to prove, I don't know how to flip the thing around, so yeah, I'm here too. Okay, yeah, that was that creepy. Uh, and down here in this cupboard, look, this is the ultimate. This is for you, June, because Joel won't like this. Well, actually, maybe he will. I don't know. So look, look at this, look at this, look at this. Dun, dun, dun. From Joel, 1989 to Kathy and Gareth. Happy Christmas! Yeah. And so it's TTFN from us and from Luby, who is so mortified she's actually hiding behind her brother. And he's goodbye from me too. Goodbye. Good morning, Joel. It's about uh, 5.45 in the morning and I'm just going to take you for a little bit on my morning walk. First, I'm going to let Midge out. Good morning, Midgey. There she comes. It's open. Come here. There she is. I don't know if you can hear the birds and the roosters, but it's going to be the stars still out. And Locked up. Got my mailbox by the door. Pick up the mail for us by our front door these days. And there's our little avocado basket for when we go out and gather avocados. Put it outside. And I'll grab my umbrella and set out. I don't know if you can hear the birds, Joel, but they're absolutely gorgeous. 